right i'm back again i keep recharging my phone goodness whoa anyway all in the interest of avoiding recording from that environment anyway whatever yeah like i said just enough is basically going to be the modus operandi at this point for christians just enough all right so with in the case of ruslan for instance because i've been describing what's currently happening to him and his team at god bless uh, at bless god studios the ruslan his channel is facing deplatforming right but they removed two copyright strikes we don't know what's going to happen uh going forward whether the people that keep on striking him with copyright strikes using the name of joe rogan whether or not uh they're gonna stop whether they're gonna retract the other two copyright strikes and besides like i said th this thing can be fought in court successfully because they have um respected fair use policies but it's going to take a while for them to win that case in court if it'll even get to the point of going to court which they doubt because they don't think that this is the real joe rogan all right uh but in the season when he is or they are extracted from social media youtube those are families whose mortgages can't be paid those are families whose kids cannot be uh whose fee whose kids fees cannot be paid on time they're going to default on uh, payments you know like bills and all that jazz that is just a hindrance to the peace of a person's life for no other reason than the fact that some lay jane and lay joe like i said i don't think this is joe rogan but don't nobody know yet right joe rogan's team has been contacted he is yet to respond but it's it's highly unlikely that it is that means that somebody is essentially uh stealing the identity of joe rogan claiming to be him and his team messing with a, a channel threatening the deletion of a whole entire youtube channel that is a like i'm trying to explain to you guys is that what's going on with ruslan's channel is the perfect example of what is coming to the body of christ at large sabotage by imposters or sabotage by big bodies either way it's sabotage either way it's taking bread off people's tables either way it, no, it's not taking bread off people's tables it is going to limit the kind of bread that can be bought it is going to extract luxurious bread and only give you just the basic minimum bread and butter but not jam bread and butter but not poloni bread and butter but not cheese that's what we are being threatened with just enough and i am here to implore the body of christ to take just enough in their stride that's what i'm getting at because this here is not our home we are sojourning we are leaving and in the run-up to people are going to get real nice and petty below the belt they're going to be full real nice and petty below the belt and full of bullying and with this bullying it is our prerogative to be godly about it and recognize that what is coming what is necessarily coming is our inheritance of a most wonderful future but first not before going through some crazy waters ruslan's channel is unlikely going to be deplatformed because from what the law showed me he is not going to allow deplatforming he's not going to allow us to just be booted off the internet he's not going to allow it because the gospel still needs to be proliferated but he is going to allow extreme persecution extreme censoring shadow banning some of the bigger youtube channels um despite shadow banning they'll be able to get proliferated anyway because subscribers are going to help them push and they will share and people will click their links outside of youtube like on twitter on other on facebook whatnot they will still be able to share so if you are big enough, if a channel is as big as ruslan's just shares on their own will will help the channel still get viewed but it is not going to grow at the same girth height and speed as it used to you will get a person that would that was used for instance to getting perhaps like you know like a thousand subscribers in in in, in a day suddenly getting only like maybe a hundred that stuff is going to happen and also a person that is used to getting 500 not 500 thousand but like let's just say like 10 thousand views within the first three hours of uploading all of a sudden having just 500 stuff like that is going to happen there's going to be a severity of shadow banning restricting us but remember what um god is preparing us to upload online is rather the stuff that's going to to, to to be available for tribulation saints we are not so much working for the present church we are but only a remnant are going to get rescued by our efforts right now on this side the revival that's coming the reformation if you want to call it that that is coming is only going to happen as at the rapture so the work we're doing the seeds we're planting we are planting them that they might fruition into entire bountiful forests in the tribulation we are working for tribulation saints so when you put in all that effort to do a youtube video and it gets only 500 views where before you were getting 10,000 views on that on the same type of content do not be disheartened if you are a content creator your work is going to get viewed and you're going to get see it viewed from heaven your work is going to get viewed 
once the rapture has happened you are only going to be like you, i like to describe what's going to happen with the body of christ in the run-up to the rapture as being like musicians who pass away and all of a sudden their albums sell like millions of albums all of a sudden their t-shirts sell it's stuff gets sold out that was just sitting on shelves with people largely ignoring it but now that they're gone here it is that this person is out your breaking bank okay disciples of the lord jesus christ are going to break bank from heaven we are going to see the the bible says that you're going to see when the wicked are punished um and the table is prepared for you in the presence of your enemies so you are going to be this unsung hero that is all of a sudden elevated but unlike a celebrity that passes away outside of christ and so therefore is unable to see how prosperous lee all of a sudden they are performing now that they're dead we're going to be able to literally from heaven's terrace see a, a video that you uploaded two three five months ago that had zero views on youtube suddenly within 24 hours have 500,000 views we are going to see that you will see when the wicked are punished the recompense of the wicked like it's written in psalm 91 we're going to see it from the sky so everything that we are doing now is not in vain but it will appear in vain and that is that we might be discouraged from continuing we must continue to plant because we are planting not for the present generation or the present era of folk we are rather planting for those that will wake up and snap out of their sleep once the rapture has happened we are working for the tribulation church for the global citizenship that will have been shocked by the horror of the rapture it is horrific to those who are left behind but it is glorious to those who are going to get taken that's what's happening that's why you must just keep uploading and that's the reason why i am walking in a bizarre disposition right now constantly uploading on a channel that never mind is shadow banned but it also is not like i'm literally work like working with a net loss of subscribers every single week month because people are just gravitate gra gravitating away from my ministry because it's going nowhere youtube has so closed me in they've created a closed loop of subscriber gains in that only my subscribers can see my content and some of my subscribers get tired of seeing my sorrow so they unsubscribe from me so i can only ever have a net loss of subscribers every single week month however long that's just the way that life is going for me right now and it looks bizarre to people why i am still uploading when i've got zero views why i am still uploading when i've got nobody looking at me it's because i understand that my reward is in heaven first and foremost my treasures are in heaven first and secondly and thirdly um i'm i'm working for people that will only come to me once the rapture has happened i trust the lord not to deplat not not to allow the deplatforming altogether of my channels they will still be there that once the rapture has happened people will then go and listen to my work then in the run-up too however i will be severely underestimated never mind in my content but also out there in the wilderness because of how it is that i will have been downgraded in life just generally i will be working a job that is uncharacteristic of my skill set i will be doing stuff that is basically a travesty and i will continue to endure what would be the equivalent of a humiliation but i'm not really being humiliated i am being made content in this circumstance because this is not my home and this here is not where i'm supposed to be a queen this environment is not where i'm supposed to be the boss this is not where i'm supposed to run the show this version of the earth is not my rightful inheritance i will never be loved in it i'm an alien in it and so therefore i will ever be ostracized and persecuted on it and i will never be acknowledged for my talents in it i will always be just a slave in it where it is that others are plundering my skills in it therefore mine is to be content in that circumstance that i might be a cheerful giver of the hard work that i'm putting in in christ instead of a grumbling mumbling complaining m moping one instead of pining i rock up with the joy of the lord because that is the only way to not allow yourself to walk in a covetousness of the prosperity of the wicked they will continue to spread themselves like a green laurel tree and they will thrive all the way up until christ um literally returns like the wicked are going to thrive until the second coming of the lord jesus christ they are going to succeed they are going to take over the world and make everybody take the mark of the beast and the remnant of saints that get born again are going to get beheaded they are going to succeed until the end of the end so when you belong to christ you are too especially considering what at the end recognize that upon this not being your home it's okay for you to lose your dreams and your hopes it is okay for you to not be able to succeed on an earth that is now at the very tail end of itself we are no longer in the earlier days of the church where it is that god will succeed christians for the sake of proliferating the gospel we've gotten to the end and so because we're at the end christians are going to lose prosperity content creators are going to be very shocked big ones huge ones that are believers in christ genuine christians that god has given success to reach millions hundreds of thousands of people on earth they're going to be shocked out of their minds uh, with with a sudden loss of comforts with a sudden loss of creature comforts big big i mean gargantuan Ruslan is a pin drop in the ocean 
in comparison to what you guys are about to witness as the demonetization the deep no not deep they can't de-platform god is not going to allow de-platforming but the severity of shadow banning the loss of subscribers the loss of um views per video that they upload the loss therefore of livelihood and income um the downgrading of homes the yo guys it's going to happen at first of all rapidly it's going to happen so quickly that you're going to be shocked out of your minds as to the speed of the of overt disenfranchisement of christians and it's also going to happen to people that you never thought could be touched people that you thought were mc hammer are going to be touched that can't touch this the, the can the, the untouchables are going to be touched people that are huge are going to be touched you know how don't nobody thought that david could be touched and yet his son absalom touched him and he had to flee once he was already a king stuff like that davids are going to flee their own kingdoms content creators are going big ones huge christian like if you know them by name and if they are regarded lovely longingly if they're regarded loft if they are they are regarded loftily by the body of christ as i like this guy i like that guy he is my favorite christian youtuber they too are going to get it right but they will have thankfully unlike small content creators like myself they will have support from their base they will get their their pay, pay like proper uh, people that don't have paypals will start having paypals who lent on youtube revenue they will start to lean on people helping them along ruslan and his uh team were pushing people to go and buy their books their whatnot because now they don't have youtube as a stream of income so if you are a big content creator you are better off than most of us if you live in a western nation or a country that does not persecute christians you're better off than most of us but you are still going to be significantly tarnished in your ability to afford yourself but not to the point of poverty and homelessness just to the point of loss of comforts and that is in order that your character might be built for you to inherit the righteous reign for you to inherit whatever it is that god is going to put lead, put you over humility is important it is in this season of this level of testing of true believers that some people are going to depart from the faith and give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons some of them are going to display that they were never of god so upon losing their christian their youtube channels because you see the, the the targetedness of our persons is going to happen to people that the world views as staunch christians but those that aren't really of us like demons they are going to leave so there's going to be a walking away from the faith because of losing clout and money by content creators that you never imagined would ever leave god because they were obviously godly you are going to witness big content creators walk away from jesus because their channels got demonetized because they were not able to sell t-shirts because literally all uh, many structures across the world that enable their revenue sources suddenly sabotage them those who sell t-shirts on t-shirts on etsy on amazon all of a sudden they're being slow growth of their t-shirt sales and you would think that it's because people don't like them anymore it's because they are they will literally deliberately manipulate algorithms to cause people's eyes to not even flood in terms of traffic to their online store to buy their t-shirts like people they go they're coming at our money what i'm trying to explain to you guys is that they're coming at the money of christians to exsanguinate our influence so if you are using any of their platforms to earn an income they're coming at it they're coming at it they are coming at your online stores as well you are not going to sell as many books as you used to as many t-shirts cups mugs as you used to you are going to have to lean on subscribers those who love your content continuing to give you paypal donations or or uh, your nine to five job but you must still have the valor in you to continue to upload content because really you are working more than anything for the revolution you are working for the reformation that is going to happen once the rapture has occurred that's what god showed me this thing with ruslan shocked me but it did not come as too much of a surprise i the only reason it shocked me was because i didn't expect it to start so soon and also i didn't expect it to be with such a big content creator the smaller ones they came for us first they, they came for us first because we were an easy target they are messing with the smaller ones basically aborting fetuses in their embryonic face right but the ones that have already been burgeoned into big fat chunky men and women they're going to come at them at last and it's going to be shocking the horror movie that we are about to watch as the body of christ at the height of disenfranchisement of true christians is, is just going to be literally a public display of sabotage that is going to be ignored by the world they are going to ignore the fact that we are losing everything and at the opportune time we're then going to get raptured we are about to see who belongs to god and who doesn't that's why i'm here to encourage you to hold fast in and of myself i'm having a hard time taking in my stride what's happening in my life.
but the more I wear a heavenly eternal perspective the less I panic and my prayer is that you will think the same way that I am starting to think today I was on TikTok even though I am not logged in because I don't start channels anymore or accounts and there was this girl there literally doing a spell because in my logged on state it only recommends to me either like you know gospel music or christian content creators but when i'm logged out it just recommends whatever's trending right now and my goodness the number of videos where people are doing spells guys spells i'm south african so on tiktok they will always recommend south african content to you first before they recommend any other country the spells on there the little girls and boys that are doing rituals teaching people how to hex boyfriends how to keep lovers how to make sure that every boyfriend wants you back how to make sure your boss loves you yo guys they are everywhere they keep opening portals like i told you it's like a roach infestation they are everywhere and when i saw that young woman doing that spell on tiktok teaching people how to basically bring fortunes to themselves or keep boyfriends in their lives i was like this here is an unsustainable world it's uninhabitable that even though the world belongs to us the meek shall inherit the earth bottom line is it's presently uninhabitable for christians we cannot live in a world where people are teaching people how to do spells on YouTube or on TikTok. It's uninhabitable for us. It's insufferable. It is not the place for us anymore. And it's not going to stop. When then you go into the comments section of this little witch on TikTok, you didn't see that there's nobody in there rebuking this activity. There's no Christian saying away from us in the name of Jesus. There is nobody correcting this. There is nobody basically even from a secular vantage point being like, but like, why is it okay to teach people how to do witchcraft online? everybody is just talking about how it is that they used it and my goodness the favor coming through the people of which that are commenting like this have got their avatars visible for everybody to see you can see who it is it's a dinero it's a binky and this dinero and binky is content to have people know that they took a spell's advice on tiktok and used it on a colleague and are now coming back to give praise to the witch teaching them the spell they were happy to even show their faces their god is their belly their glory and shame they no longer hide what they do in secret they are doing it in broad daylight and are confessing too that they partake in the fruitless deeds of darkness and very few people are calling them out or exposing them and those that are calling them out and exposing them were facing a future of disenfranchisement it's not our earth anymore they've made it their own they have infested it with cockroaches and we cannot move into it rightly until our messiah fumigates our god has got to fumigate these people must repent they must give their lives to christ or recognize that in and of themselves just like their cockroaches they will also be fumigated just like the roaches they bring here they will also be fumigated just like the demons they bring here they will also be taken to sheol and they will not be able to live with us for a thousand years as we rule and reign with jesus christ they will not enjoy an earth that is righteous because they are the ones that muddied it with what would be the equivalent of a hadron collider hole opening and a portal the closing ceremony of the olympics which showed a portal opening letting into our ecosystem that which is menacing and demonic we cannot live on a world like that in a world like that as christians and truly thrive there is no success in nazareth where they don't like us and our words we cannot perform miracles and the whole planet is like nazareth and where it is that christians are at we are like christ in nazareth we can't do miracles we are no longer able to promulgate the cause of the of, of the gospel at the height that we used to be able to promulgate it and when then we start to reach a horizontal asymptote in terms of how many christians we are reaching for jesus christ that is when the world comes to a blistering end the world is ending you guys and christians i'm warning you be content in whatever situation you are in because you are about to get a hard knock lifestyle downgrade and if you don't wear a piece that transcends understanding in the midst of it you are going to grumble groan grunt and face the risk of essentially apostatizing because jesus took away the comforts the creature comforts of your original status quo that's where we find ourselves in history okay you guys we are going home but first it's going to get real bad before it gets real good in and of myself i am disquieted and have a lot of work being that i'm asking god to do in my heart i am begging him seeking his face for humility i prayed the other night pretty much all night just seeking the lord's face for humility because that is what is going to come in handy in this time humility to just accept that you are not going to be as successful as you were supposed to be it is over for us in a way that is going to disillusion many christians but it's not really over it's the beginning in order for something to be resurrected it has to die christianity has to die before it is resurrected y'all need to understand that you are dying but that is in order that you might be elevated to another level 
take it, body of Christ, accept it, embrace it, expect it. We are at the end. This world is not your home. Be content with bread and butter. Don't insist on caviar and peanut butter. Be content with just enough. That's the only way you're going to survive this. Otherwise, you are going to groan, grunt, complain until you apostatize. The devil's prerogative and mission at this present juncture is to make you apostatize. Demas leaves because he was never of us. Do not let yourself be the person that started good but then didn't finish good. It is not about starting good. It is about finishing good. Wait for your time but be grateful that at least you got a nine to five if that's what you have or a youtube channel where your subscribers are helping you along even though there's not as much viewership traffic on your content as there used to be be content with moving out of your two-bedroom apartment into a one bed because at least you have a bed be content with being able to feed your cat just cat food instead of like you know like dry cat food instead of wet cat food you used to be able to buy treats you can't anymore your cat too gotta accept it at least it's eating it's got water and it has got bread for the day it does not need more you can't take it to as many grooming sessions at the parlor as you used to be grateful that your cat is healthy like your pet you get my like whatever it is that is the bare minimum the lifestyle even of your pets is going like if every fac factor of your life section of you is going to be impacted by this but contentment is the key to getting to the end that's what i'm getting at and as for believers that have got nine to fives, do not even dare to imagine that it is a feasible outcome. Do not even dare to imagine that it is a feasible way out to leave your nine to five job to, to pursue YouTube full time. Don't you dare do that. Do not pursue YouTube. For, don't pursue social media full time. It is on a mission to exsanguinate Christianity from the earth. You are going to have to either go back to corporate or take a pay cut or find yourself unemployed for a season because here it is that now you're selling t-shirts on etsy on amazon wherever and they're not selling as much and your youtube channel is not bringing in as much money or you've been demonetized deplat yeah but guys if you've got a nine to five and you can't stand your boss take it like accept it perhaps apply for another nine to five job but stay in that job do not leave because this is not our home we don't have much longer left this thing is going to happen it's going to be it's going to happen in a crunched space it's going to be compacted of this persecution is going to happen in a short time however it's going to be extreme and back to back god is going to keep it short because it's going to be too much right for a lot of us to endure it for too long a period of time but in the time that it happens it's going to be shocking out of your minds do not quit your nine to five jobs and if you have quit your nine to five jobs to pursue social media full time apply again to work a regular nine to five because social media is no longer going to be a sustainable avenue of income for christians they are literally going to take bread out of our bodies they're going to try and make us vomit what bread we swallowed yesterday in order to shut us up and they're also going to try to take us back to doctrines we abandoned to this clumped up mega church system that is ungodly and unbiblical they're going to try and restore us to unsound doctrine just so we can be part of the grain holding on to what you believe is then going to get you extra targeted and like i said you're going to be targeted by both lay janes that don't know jack or nobody are negligible to look at as well as honchos big people that can pull such big strings that your life can be destroyed because they said so everyone that can attack you is going to attack you but god is going to keep you bare minimum supported take it witches are teaching people to do spells online and everybody's proud of that that's the earth it's full of cockroaches christ will fumigate but until he does we are going to be living in an insufferable planet. Accept it that you might not be disquieted and covetous of the wicked and that you might succeed to endure to the end. Okay, that's all I got to say, guys. I spoke for hours, but I hope I got the point home. I am signing out in the name of Jesus Christ, Cran K. Peace. Sorry, I have one last thing that I wanted to say. I forgot to share with you what dream I got. The dream that I had were, was of people coming to bewitch me to be frozen again so that i don't grow they they were blocking my uh, promotion they were blocking me essentially doing so well on this job that i've just gotten that i would get a promotion they put me in a refrigerator literally i saw ice cubes representing me and they put them in a fridge saying that this is the job that you're gonna work pretty much for the rest of your life having no clue under heaven that the lord never intended for me to be here for many many more years in a dead end nine to five job like it's there to sustain me until such time that he fumigates the earth until such time that he removes the restrainer that's what this job is here for okay it's not here 
to restart my career in corporate again that's why i said that i used to think that i'm a husband is coming and some children i'm being restored until the lord re re corrected me to help me understand that he is making it such that i'm not too squeezed and afflicted to push but not so comfortable that i can actually look forward to a future because normal is not coming back jesus is i had a dream of people casting a spell on the new job that i got so i don't ever get a promotion i don't need one all i need is that job so it's pointless to freeze me but the method of sorcery involved literal ice cubes and a literal refrigerator that's what people are going to be doing to the body of christ not that witchcraft works on us it doesn't but just that the fact that that kind of reprobate mind exists at all is the reason why god must fumigate he doesn't want witches constantly just doing stuff like that on the earth unfettered he's handed them over to their reprobate mind that they might continue in these rituals and so be destroyed be condemned for they have not loved the truth but rather taken pleasure in their unrighteousness second thessalonians 2 now i am done signing out in christ's name quen k bye